So behind me here is a wall in my plant room where I swear plants used to go to die. It was like I couldn't get any plant to survive there or thrive. And I really believe it was due to lack of light. So I decided to install some grow lights and I set up some Soltex Solution Aspect Grow Lights and I thought I would do an update on how that is going. And I am also going to adjust some things in my IKEA greenhouse cabinet. I think I'm one of the very few people that I've heard of that haven't had a lot of success with my IKEA greenhouse cabinet. If you're not familiar, IKEA greenhouse cabinets are cabinets purchased from IKEA that people repurpose as greenhouses. So we set up fans and grow lights and humidifiers and people really deck them full out. Mine's very simplistic. I did very little and I think part of my problem is the fact that I didn't involve any kind of weather stripping. So the humidity in my greenhouse cabinet isn't much higher than the rest of my home, which I think that's one of the benefits to a greenhouse cabinet is that it has that terrarium-like environment a lot of times. But I did install fans and I did install a grow light. And even though I don't have weather stripping, I would expect to have more success with my plants. Um, and I'm to the point now where I don't really have a lot of plants in my greenhouse cabinet, as you can see. So I'm going to repurpose the existing grow light that I have in there, and I'm going to set up a Grove um, Soltech Solution grow light. So this is a brand new one that's just come out. Soltech Solutions are partnering with me on this episode. So many of us in the plant community love Soltech Solutions grow lights. They are absolutely amazing. They're incredibly good quality, and they last forever and they look absolutely beautiful. So when I saw that they had one of these kind of lights that they had available, I said, absolutely, can I please, like, I wanna set that up in my Ikea greenhouse cabinet because this is very similar to the type that I have set up already, just arguably a lot better quality. Soltech Solutions is giving a 15% off code to all of the Plant Life with Ashley and Nita viewers out there. The code is Plant Life, and you can click the link in my description below to explore the different options that they have. There are so many, so many reviews on Soltech Solution Grow Lights out there. They are well, well loved by the plant community. So I'm really, really happy to share them with all of you and partner, and they help so much with my plants. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Wow. That's fancy. Look how cute it is. Has little leaves on there. That's some fancy. Oh, okay. <laughs> this packaging is next level. Look at this. Oh my. Very nice. It comes with the timer and the plug and the light. Oh, I think this is a magnet. Very fancy. Oh, I love it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, and it sticks. You can peel it off here and here. And like you peel it off here and I guess it'll stick. Perfect. These are to help with cord management, which is awesome that they've thought of that. And if you have any additional questions on the grow light, you can go to their website and they'll have all of the information listed there for you guys. First, an update on how my plants are doing on my wall here. I went with the Soltec Solution Aspect Grow Lights because I've used them in the past and I've had a lot of success with them. Now this is a pretty big wall, so I went with three of them, and not only are they amazing, but they look really nice. A lot of these plants haven't put out any growth in forever, and since I put them under the grow light, all of a sudden they are taking off. So one of the things I need to preface with is that I've had a really bad thrips outbreak last year, and so a lot of my plants almost died. Um, it got really, really bad, and now for the first time they're putting out new growth, but it's been definitely like a recovery process. So... A lot of the old leaves look really bad and the newer leaves look a little bit better. As you can see, it's looking a little rough and what it needs is a new pot. So I did buy a new pot for it to crawl and I think after I do that, it'll be so happy, but it's enjoying the grow light. I think I could move it down a little bit because that's one of the things with the grow lights is 
figuring out which plant enjoys being where and some of them need more light and some of them need a little bit less light and with philodendron sometimes it's hard to tell for instance my philodendron varicosum which i would never guess wants a lot of light absolutely was in love with the grow light and it these two leaves died because i um have been traveling a lot and due to underwatering they died but as you can see like look at these leaves they're just it's come over here and it's literally crawling up my pedatum and yeah i think this is the newest philodendron varicosum leaf coming out oh my gosh look how beautiful that is and then my pedatum wants to put out new growth but it's struggling there so i'm just gonna like move that so it's going to this way help it out a little bit a lot of these plants that were growing in water had pretty much died and now they're putting out new growth so i'm going to work on repotting them peace lily obsessed with how much growth this plant is putting out it loves the light this variegated whale fin has i've had it forever it's never done anything different and all of a sudden it's just put out a new leaf and this little squamiferum was on its last legs. It wasn't doing very well. And then all of a sudden it's put out like literally from here all the way new growth. And this is a newer plant of mine. It's the Amplissimum, Epipremnum Amplissimum variegata. And it literally was like here. And since putting it under the scroll light, it's put out, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new leaves. So it is obsessed with that. My Hoyas are obsessed with the grow light. My philodendrons do really like it. Like this little Mayo eyes put out lots of new leaves. My Syngonium Chia Pence has put out, like all of this is new. Um, this Amplissimum is obsessed with it. This philodendron White Knight has started putting out absolutely massive leaves. Now, I don't know what this is. I think this might be bacteria or I don't know what that is. I probably, I need to go in there and look at the roots and do a little bit of repotting, but it is putting out a lot of new growth. I don't think that's a pest problem. I think that's either a watering or repotting issue. This philodendron is putting out all of this new growth. My aglionema is so happy. This is doing great. I mean, it's look this um this is a dark lord philodendron and it has never put out any new growth and any new growth that has put out has been just like measly and yucky and since putting it here it's putting out all these new leaves so it is kind of tricky some philodendrons really appreciate more light and some philodendrons appreciate less light so it is a good idea to just kind of like adjust as needed and what i need to do is really expand some of these planks and moss poles because a lot of these plants that I put here have already outgrown their planks and moss poles or need like this one didn't need a moss pole when I set it up and now it definitely needs one my potatoum I need to put some little clasps on the wall for it and maybe like help direct it underneath the light and it you see how it has the natural line here of lighting maybe my pedatum can just like climb along here i think that would look so cool behind my plants it's been a success definitely so far there we go now i have these on automatic timers they're called govi timers here's the app that i use and it's really easy they're just like i said automatically set up oh by the way look at this little hoya bloom it's so pretty i love it i came home from a trip and my whole house smelled of hoyas and i didn't realize that it was hoyas that i was smelling and i um just smelled like this fragrance and i came upstairs and it was it literally in my plant room with the door shut the fragrance was going through my whole house so these Hoya blooms are strong. Okay. So, I was hoping I could reuse this thing and just stick the other one through it, but this won't come off. <laughs> I'm so awkward with stuff like this. I just 
All right. So it looks like this, and I can um, just peel this off here. Oh gosh, ah, perfect. this off there nice wow this is super nice put that there oh it's sticky perfect there we go wow easy so untangle it you know what's great about these Soltec lights is that they're so easy to install because I have zero patience for things. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can relate, but that is something I work on. So this part keeps dropping. It's not sticking to, maybe it'll stick there, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that keeps dropping. So I need to get like a stickier adhesive for this. So this is sticking really well. looks nice look and you cannot oh you know what I am obsessed with this look guys look you can adjust it around this is so great you can point it in whatever direction you want and then if it's too bright on your plants you can like move it a little bit or this is super nice I really like it I think this is gonna work way better in here than the other light that I was using I'm really, really impressed and excited about this light. Like, you can probably tell the difference between before and now um, because I wasn't expecting this light to be that different than this light. And this light is a fabulous, fabulous grow light. Um, but this one is gonna be way better. Soltech Solutions is giving a 15% off code to all of the Plant Life with Ashley and Nita viewers out there. The code is Plant Life, and you can click the link in my description below to explore the different options that they have. And today I talked about the Aspect Grow Light and also the new Grove Light that they have. And they do have some other terrific options as well. Feel free to do a little bit more research if you want to. There are so many, so many reviews on Soltech Solution Grow Lights out there. They are well, well loved by the plant community. So I'm really, really happy to share them with all of you and partner, and they help so much with my plants. Now, a huge thank you to them again for partnering with me, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.